What's up guys, Black Wizard and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Football Magic 2021 for episode number 22, I believe, of Sonic oh, our last career mode on FM21. Today's episode um, will be the January transfer window of the year 2023 and obviously a few games along the way starting with a cup game uh, in, in well, 15 minutes. Uh, against Drancy, then a game against PSG, Saint-Etienne, Montpellier, Brest, I believe we've got Lille as well, uh, Metz and Lille. I don't know if I'll be able to do the entire month, uh, but we will try. We do have a budget of 30 millions. I'm looking to strengthen, uh, to strengthen, sorry, uh, uh, my midfield, I guess, because uh, for those who haven't seen the previous episode, we've lost Ander Guevara for basically the season he's out for 45 months so yeah unless i bring someone from the reserve and try to promote a youth player which uh, it actually like it, it, we could do it but i don't know i don't know okay uh i mean it's safe to say i do not know any player from uh the ja drancy or jeanne d'arc de drancy actually i might know their captain i'll have to take a look at that um the rest of the team for me uh, you probably don't know a lot of guys, except Christian Fruchtel, André Ranocchia, um, Florence Otoka. Then if you've been here for quite a while, you might know José Capon, Marco Ballarini. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, we've done basically like last season. Um, last season, it, it worked very well in the opponent's favor, as uh, we got knocked out in the first round by a fifth division side. Hopefully this year, uh, we won't lose. Transfer de Rancy with Haddad. Haddad and Drancy is 1-0 up. We've been pushing for the last couple of minutes. Uh, but like last year, we're losing to a team from the 5th division. Alright, uh, we've had 14 shots, they've had 1. We're losing. Florence Otoka on the left. The cross for Michi. Oh my god, he's, he scored. Michi actually scored. 1-0 at the 84th minute. Come on, we've got the momentum. We've got the momentum. Well, penalties we go. <laughs> ah, I hate this. It's been a while since I've last seen the penalties. And Michi Battery misses the first one. Good start. Steve Pereira. Scores. Valentin Seric. Scores. Baca. Scores. Martin Calderon. Scores. He just came on for the penalty shootout. Fouillaté. Scores again. 3-2 for Drancy right now. 3 out of 3 for them. 2 out of 3 for us as Florence Otoka steps up. Florence Otoka scores again. David for Drancy. David, David, David. Scores. Decisive penalty now. If, uh, if Andrea Ranocchia misses, then we're going to say goodbye to the Coupe de France for the second year in a row in the first round of the French Cup. And... It's, a, it's genuinely a shock. Ranocchia scores, meaning the decisive penalty, and all the pressure is going to be on the shoulders of whoever Drancy will take as the penalty taker today. Repernet against Christian Fuchtel. And Drancy goes through, beating us 5-4 on aggregate. Uh, I believe the correct term is I have been FM'd. Okay, Lord. Uh, I'm, so I'm a, bit, I'm a bit pissed, obviously, after that loss. José Capon now feels like he deserves a new contract to reflect the fact that he's now a member of the first team squad. And there is literally an answer, which is, I feel something like this would happen, and I'm disappointed to have been proven right. You've been part of the first team for five minutes, and you've already become too big for your boots. I'm so gonna say that. Um, Bossman, you won't get a new contract. I don't care, even if you're triggered. Okay, DL Pro made an offer for Batshuayi. I'm going to try and increase that. If they can give me 30 million for Michi Batshuayi, I'll take it. They said yes. Very well. Very well. I had not expected that. Oh, we've got Julian Palacios on another contract. I'm guessing he doesn't want to resign with them. Yeah, uh, we're going to lose Julian Palacios on the free. Which kind of sucks. Which kind of sucks. Um, I mean, he is having a stinker of a year. Yeah, I feel like we're just going to have to lose him. Alright, I'm going to try and make an offer for Thorgan Hazard. Now, hear me out. 
I know he's a winger, and no, I do not play wingers. But I can retrain him potentially as a striker. That's the thing. Also, he can come off the bench and play as a winger when I push my wing backs to wingers. He can play as a cam, and mainly, he was trained at Lens, and that's very crucial for me. So I think he's he's like valued at 15 million. We're gonna try and make an offer for Thorgan Hazard and see how it goes. And we're once again going to face a team from um, the outskirts of Paris as we face PSG. After the uh, game against Gilles Drancy where we lost, um, we face the team I hate the most uh, on the entire earth. So hopefully I can beat PSG. Alphonse Arola, Alessandro Florenzi, Wilfred Ndidi, Presnel Kimpembe, Fernandes, Marquinhos, Marco Verratti, Daniel Pereira, Everton, Neymar, Icardi. It's a very defensive team uh, if you remove like the, f the, the three strikers, obviously. And then Sarsio Rico, Umtiti, Coronia, Diaz, Buendia, Ake, and Yuan Tad. Where's... I know they have Daibala and they have Mbappe. I mean, I think they still have Mbappe. Uh, Dibala, Dibala, Dibala. Four to six weeks after a torn back muscle, I see. Mbappe? Awaiting treatment for a serious viral infection. Okay. Very well. First chance of the fixture, and it might be for us with Greimel, Vili Orban, Wilker Farines. Starting from the back, as we always do, Gabriel Strefessa. Come on. Strefessa. Through the middle of the pitch, he might be able to find Klosterman on the right. Uh, he will. Lucas. Pass it back to Fran Beltran. The shot by Fran Beltran. What a save by Areola. Jonas Egerstein, the counter attack. Myron Boadu. There's Arezzo in the middle. He's gonna find him. Matthias! It's off the post. It's off the post. Oh, come on. We've hit the post. What was it twice? I know Areola made one save, but might, the, the ball might have gone off the post. I can't remember. Might not be over though. Strefetsa, and it's a clearance by NDD. Everton, Cebolinia. Verratti. Everton. Verratti, Greimel clears it, Boadu can shoot, ah, come on, come on Myron, he's going to lose the ball to Kimpembe, uh, but Kimpembe's pass finds absolutely nobody, Fran Beltran, Matias Arezzo, Beltran switches it to Lucas Klosterman on the right, Arezzo, the cross for Myron Boadu, Myron Boadu and Wilfred and Didi again, chance for PSG here, with Everton Cebolinha, losing the ball to Fran Beltran again, we have uh, our midfield is bossing PSG around. Boadu, Myron, Myron, Myron. That's a penalty. Come on, let's go. We need to score it though. We need to score it. Myron Boadu against Alphonse Areola to make it 1 0. It would be deserved. Uh, on the outcome of this first half, and Myron Boadu misses the target. We've hit the post for the third time in this fixture. Gabriel Strefessa. Oh, his pass is deflected. It's going to be a chance for PSG Neymar for one of his first touches of this game. Verratti. Alessandro Florenzi is running uh, on the right-hand side. There he goes. Florenzi, the cross from the Italian coming up. There's no one. Arezzo deflects it. Marquinhos is the first one on the ball. Ferlo Mendy. Marquinhos. What's the ball for Everton? Everton in the box. Icardi, and it's a very, very big challenge, and uh, we're extremely lucky because uh, that could have gone very badly. Abdou Diallo for Matias Arezzo. Matias! We've hit the post for the fourth time today. We have hit the post for the fourth time today. Oh, shut up. Is there going to be a chance at the 94th minute? Not like this. Not now. Not now. Neymar, Everton, cleared by Greimel. Blekwe, Fran Beltran could be for us. Batshuayi. Esiric, come on, ref, just let us have it. Ref, let us have it, please. Esiric. Okay, nothing happened. It's just going to be the ref with... Oh my god, no. No, 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 Samuel. Samuel. Thank you, Samuel. Oh, God. Thank God the last time you were able to shoot was against Juventus. Nil, nil, draw. I'm disappointed because I knew and I know we definitely had what it took to win that game. And Thorgan Hazard uh, is willing to discuss, to discuss a contract. Alright, uh, let's give him 230. Uh, I'll give him a decent signing fee. Alright, come on, lad. Come on, Thorgan, it's, 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 you're coming back home. 238k a month for now. Let's go. Third game of the episode. And uh, we're going to 
be actively looking for a win. Uh, we haven't had one in like <laughs> two games, which is a lot for me. Uh, so yeah, as we face Saint-Etienne, the uh, aim is clear. The three points. Strefet Sagan for Myron Bowadji. Fran Beltran, Egerstein. This kind of match is why I want to get Hazard. Hazard? Jesus Christ, Hazard. Because uh, I need some creativity on the wings, and that's not something I can provide right now. Beltran, Johannes Egerstein, Inigo Lekwe. Egerstein, there's some space which Refet is gonna find him. Come on, Gabe. Oh, Gabe! Refet intercepting uh, the, the, the pass from Jérôme Zut. Klosterman. Oh, it's deflected. Why are we struggling so much? Why are we struggling so much? Nice interception by Helder Serrado. Come on, Myron, please be on side. Myron. Myron, I fucking love you. Trefessa. Helder Serra. Abdul Diallo. We might, be have a, we might have a final chance here. With five minutes left on the clock. Beltran for Lucas Klosterman. Lucas for Myron Boadju. Shot is deflected. Arezzo still on the ball. Matthias. Boadju again. Oh my god. How many times are you going to deflect my shots for fuck's sake? Oh no, 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 Mizian. Mizian, not like this. Thank you. Thank you, Mizian. The fact that we've only won, only won this game 1 0 is honestly outrageous. And that's big. We're gonna get Thorgan Hazard for 11.7 millions. That's big. That's really big. Uh, he's a very good player. I do like him a lot. And also, he was formed at Lens, as I said at the beginning. So that's absolutely perfect. Yet another game in this episode, and uh, we're going to face Montpellier for this game. Uh, we're going to register Thorgan Hazard as well in the um, in the squad. Therefore, uh, we can have him uh, on uh, the bench. I don't know for who that. Uh, it's for Eric, I guess. Klosterman, Serra, Gramel, Diallo, Trefetza, Medina on the bench, Lekwe on the bench as well with Vidi Orban. Perfect. Then Calderon, Bachoy, Thorgan Hazard. Jonas Omelin, Daniel Congre, Zachary Lamgates, Berem, uh, Jim City, Loris Benito, José Calderon, Aurélien Chouaveni, Télé Savigny, Mauro Junior, Timothy Wayne, Gaëtan Laborde is the lineup for Montpellier. Montpellier, 19th position in this league. Hein, as we start this, uh, this game, Montpellier Lance that actually got played just a few hours ago as I'm recording this. Uh, with uh, a 3-2 win in favor of the Montpellier Hero. Hopefully we can uh, change that and turn that around in uh, in this game on FM. Chance with two minutes in the game, uh, and we've completely destroyed that through that, uh, that throw-in, sorry. But we do have the ball though, with Fran Veltran, Max Jägerstein. What a ball from Dallo to Boadou! And hits the post, uh, but he was offside. We need to stop losing the ball on throw-ins. Like, it's genuinely a thing now. How how do we keep on doing it? I, I would have expected that at one point we'd start like remembering that we can't take throw-ins. That's offside. But still. Lucas Klosterman on the right-hand side for once. He's gonna do. He's not going to do a Schrefetze and shoot. He's going to pass it to Arezzo who will shoot. 1-0 <laughs> after 11 minutes. Let's go. The eighth goal only this season for Matias Arezzo. He's been a bit shy. Uh, mainly because a certain Marin Boadu is this uh, striker or partner in the striking position. Beltran, good interception. There's a counter attack being uh, launched here by uh, the Spaniard, the former Celta Vigo player. Fran Beltran got, uh, got past his man. The cross, Matias Arezzo in a very good position, but he's going to hit the post. Johannes Segerstein, Matias Arezzo. Johannes Segerstein, what a ball for Marin Boadu. He's slightly off centered though. Marin, Marin. He doesn't care about being off-centered. He can just get himself get himself to the center. What a lad. 20 goals this season for Marin Boadu. Johannes Segerstein intercepting um, Daniel Congre's attempt at a pass. Marin Boadu in the box. Marin plays it back to Strefetza. Egerstein. Fran Beltran. There's a run by... A... Oh, oh, wait, wait. Wow. Good save by Omlin, but I'm pretty sure we could have done better. Cross to man. Cross. Trefetza, 3-0. Johannes Segerstein for Myron Boadu, losing the ball. Could it be a chance for Montpellier? Nope. Nope, it can't. It cannot. It simply cannot. Max Johan Egerstein with his brother. Egerstein, Matthias Arezzo, Klosterman on the right. 
Lucas Klosterman in the box. Plays it for Johannes Egerstein. The strike by Egerstein. That's 4 0 after 30 minutes. I'm going to actually go into, into commentary only uh, because I have an essay to give in the next few hours. Uh, and I didn't plan on this game taking 73 years. 4 0 at halftime. 16 shots to nil. That is shocking. And there's a goal for Montpellier this time. Timothy Wa with a very good ball for Gaetan Laborde. My defense wasn't paying attention. And Gaetan Laborde makes it 4-1. Uh, running down the right-hand side. I know it's a goal for us. Oh, what, what a pass for Boadje. What a pass for Marin Boadje. Timothy Wa. Florent Mollet. Uh, wow. That's another one for uh, Montpellier and another one for Gaetan Laborde. My team needs to stop being um, complacent. They really do. Matias Arezzo, is it a counter-attack for us? It is. Arezzo, Boadju, Boadju is going to make it 6-2. Wow. 6-2 against Montpellier. That is one huge game. We did concede twice to get on the board. Uh, they've had three shots on target, two goals. But, wow. And a hat-trick from Marin Boadju sends us top of the league. Um, one point clear of Lille as Lille has a game in hand against I don't know who, but we will be facing Lille in this episode. So hopefully we can uh, maintain that lead. Okay, we're going to try and bring someone else back to the club. Uh, he was a bit of a club legend uh, when he was there. Benjamin Bourigeau made his first classes in Lens, then moved to Rennes. And Rennes has him on the transfer list for less than uh, than 3 million. So we'll happily take that. That's uh, all the, the players actually formed in Lens. So you've got the likes of Varane, Damain, Kondogbia, uh, William Cyprien, Jeff Nadeid, Serge Aurier. Uh, but then, for example, a player I completely forgot about, Adel Tarabt. I didn't remember he was formed at Lens. Bourigeau wants to be a French player. That's incredible. That's incredible. It's sure, I'll have it. Right, and we're going to validate two transfers. The first one is Benjamin Bourigeau. That joins us uh well today on wood and the other one it's a bit different now if you're not familiar with loss or if you haven't watched or followed loss in the last five years you have no idea who this lad is and it's it's normal but i'm going to bring back christian lopez to the club christian lopez um played for loss for two years two or three years i can't remember two years Played 63 games, scored 26 goals. Uh, he then moved to Angers, uh, where he was very average. Then he went to Hatta in the UAE. If you follow me on for PCM, you would know that this is where Hatta Dam, Hatta Dam is, which is stage three of the UAE tour. And then he's gone to Greece. I felt like I wanted to save him. So yeah, I'm, I've decided to go for Christian Lopez for next year. He won't give me anything, right? But I don't care. It's Christian Lopez. He's a club hero and we love him. We're going to make a slight turnaround for this fixture against Metz. They are bottom of the league and we're playing Lille in two days. Uh, so some uh, rotation, some squad rotation is in order. Uh, so actually we're going to rotate everyone. I feel like that's the, the best thing I can do here. And you know what? man like Benjamin Bourgeau will make his debut today. Well, his debut. His second debut, I guess, for Lens in today's game. First highlight of the game for Metz. It was a corner for them. It's going to be cleared. Lorienté on the ball. Bad choy, Very good interception. Benjamin Bourgeau. Long through ball for Matias Arezzo. Can he get there first? Yes, he can. And absolute shambles at the back for Mess as Matias Arezzo gets his ninth of the season. Gets in there. Maybe another chance in this game with Wilker Farines. Looking for uh, Maron Boadu. Matias Arezzo. Matias Arezzo. And it's a very good challenge by, um, whoever's, by whoever that was. And second chance will lead to nothing. Lucas Klostermann. For Valentin and Cyric on the right hand side. Valentin, Boadu, Myron. And Myron gets his 23rd goal of the season in 15 games. It wasn't the greatest of displays, but at least it was a display. We take the win 2 0 against Miss. Final game of the episode, and it's a big one Lille against Lens. The Northern Derby, the Derby du Nord. 
but mainly first place of the Lyon face is second place. I'm very scared, but I feel like we can get a result. We've been able to get a few results back in the days against Lille. Potentially this one won't be any different. Mike Ménion, Adam Marusic, Manuel Akanji, Bastos, Christian Ramirez, Idris Sagay, Alessandro Schöpf, Alfred Duncan, Matteo Genduzzi, Angel Gomez and Jonathan David is the lineup from Kike Setien's Lille. Four games have seen Lille face Lens this season. No, in this career mode, better. The four times, Lens took away with three points. And they're going to play extremely deep. They're going to play a 4-1, 4-1. Uh, so basically Jonathan David is going to be completely on his own here. Exact same first half than the one against Mess. Lille is genuinely here to get a draw. And that is definitely not what I expected. I expect that from a relegation team. Not from a team fighting for the league. We do have the first chance of the game though. At the 52nd minute with a throw in from Klosterman, we're going to lose the ball as we do on every single throw. And it's a chance for Jonathan David against Wilker Farin, yes. And that is 1-0 for Lille. At the 52nd minute, we need to stop losing the ball on throw-ins. We just need to do that. And also, that was Lille's first shot in this game. Chance for Lille. Angel Gomez, free kick. Uh, can we get the ball on the rebound? We will. Michi Betroy. Come on, Michi. You just came on the pitch. Michi. Very good ball for Maron Boadu. 1-0. 1-0 at the 77th minute. Maron Boadu once again scores in this episode. The lad is incredibly good. Angel Gomez again on the free kick. Can we get the rebound once again? We do. Mishiva Shoi. Is it going to be the same textbook chance it's going to be? Maron Boadu. Oh, you should have scored that. But we could have scored the same goal twice in a row. And I wouldn't would have been absolutely incredible. Actually, it could be a chance for us. It is, it is, it is, it is. Trifetza, Batroy, Batroy in the box. Come on, Michi. That's not a foul. I mean, let's be honest, it's not a foul. The ref is going to say penalty. But is it really? Is it really? Okay, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't. And it's going to be a draw between Lille and Lens. Lille, extremely fortunate to get a point in this fixture. Very, very fortunate. We definitely had enough to get the win. And uh, sadly, we didn't do enough. Final game of the episode, for real. Paul Nardi, Bartosz Berezinski, Julian Laporte, André Giroto, Kemar Lawrence, Julian Ponsoenzo, Le Fay, Louis Baker, Open Gates, Stefan Boken, and Terem Mofi is the lineup for Lorient, as uh, we host them today at Bollard. There's a chance after one minute. Uh, it's a corner cleared for Helder Serra. Can we do something on the second chance? Abdou Diallo, Fran Beltran, Maren Boadu, Maximilian Egestein, Boadu Egestein. Latter, who came on for um, Klosterman today because he was risking a suspension. Maron Boadu has scored in every single game of this episode. Corner for us. Once again, it's going to be cleared. We really need to like improve our corners and our throw-ins. Uh, I don't know how to improve my throw-ins. I know corners I can create routines, which I, I most likely will do at one point. But throw-ins, how the fuck can I improve my throw-ins? About getting like better throw-in players. Fran Beltran, the three ball for Marin Boadu. And that is 2-0. That's number 26 this year for Marin Boadu. We need to do something about this man. Uh, we need to test him for every single substance in the world to prove that this man is well and truly human and, and not like a cyborg or something. Because Erling Haaland has nothing on Marin Boadu. Half time, 2-0. Love that. Fran Beltran, Abdou Diallo, the cross. No one on uh, the receiving end except Stefan Boken. It's a counter attack for Lorient. Stefan Boken, Stefan Boken, still t Stefan Boken. The pass backwards for Pus. What? Wow. Bro, his, his shot sent me into like another linguistic mad. What a strike by Julien Ponceau. And uh, Lorient gets one back. And it looks like 2 1 will be the final score today. It is indeed. 2-1 win for Lens against Lorient. Uh, we definitely dominated that fixture. And uh, it wouldn't have been a, a robbery to score more than twice. But as long as I score more than my opponent, I'm not complaining. And the transfer window is done. Uh, we haven't made anything on the final day. I had nothing to do, to be fair. So, yeah. But nevertheless, it's going to be the end of this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, 
I'd say quite a successful episode. One loss in the Coupe de France, but then a draw against PSG where I think I could have done better. A draw against Lille, again, think I could have done better. Uh, so technically, we could have won every single game in this episode. Um, but with uh, the Champions League starting next month, we did well to capitalize on this month. Uh, we are now leading the Lyon one point ahead of Monaco. Uh, plus three on Lille, but Lille does have a game in hand. And then plus four on PSG. The league table is absolutely close. And uh, I mean, it's good for, for like the suspense and shit. So hopefully you lot enjoy it. And hopefully you lot will be there for the next episode of Saint-Yor. I've been Blackwell. Have a great day and goodbye.